So the next one we'll do now would be um, for React. How do we add this in a React um, project? So the first thing we need to do is to create a React project. All right. So let's let me close this off. And of course, I always um, use Vite to bootstrap everything I do. Um, so we we'll just come here and copy the command npm create Vite latest. And then I will also do this inside of my desktop and paste the command npm create vitest and then um the project name will be grips react something like that grips react and we are sticking to um javascript for now in the next project or in the next tutorial rather i will be looking at how you can do this with javascript okay so let's start off this project code grip react okay um as usual, this is as simple as it gets. It is just embedding these things inside of your project, and that is it basically. So um, the first thing we need to do here is to install npmi. Once install the dependencies that um, are needed, then while that is installing, we can go. Let's close this off. We no longer need it. We can go back here to the docs and um, get the installation link. So this is the link you need to install um, for you to. For you to be able to use this um the grips.js um package okay so let's come back here and also install it so let's paste it and hit enter and it that started installing so that's installing nicely so once it's done installing let me close this off so once it's done installing we can now start our server so npm run dev Our server starts at localhost, so we now have this. Okay, so let's go back to our project, and here in the app um, JS, we'll be clearing off everything and um, removing the styling so that it doesn't affect what we are doing. So let me remove this. I'll remove the count. I'll remove everything at the top here, and then let's go to the Java. Sorry, to the CSS here. In, we just remove everything we have here. Save it. Um, you can also remove all of this in the app.css, save it. Um, if you don't remove this styling, it's going to make your, your editor shrink when you put it, okay? So let's come back here in the source directory and create another directory, components. Now inside of here, I just want to create the grips components, grips.jsx, okay? And then let's start, let's start um, the component like this. So let's go back to our page here. Sorry, to the documentation here. So here in the documentation, um, in the getting started part, come down to come down to the setup web projects. That's after the installation, and focus on the React one. Okay. So here in the React one, the first thing we want to do is to first of all import the studio and the style. So let's come back here and import the studio and the style like this, okay? So now that we have the style and the studio imported, the next thing is to import the uh, studio, sorry, to set up the studio itself. So we'll copy um, the studio like that and paste it inside of the return statement like this. So basically what here is doing is we are, we are stacking up this component um, studio editor here that is the main component and then we are passing in some options and um, we're adding some more in a bit okay so but for here we are setting up some default for for our project so we're saying that the project type should be web so you could choose to change this from web to an email and to change and we are saying that these are the default pages we want to have okay so we save this and then let's pass this component into our app.js so groups like this uh, make sure you import it at the top. I automatically import it at the top here, then save it. So once we save it, let's go back to our preview here. Notice that it is showing exactly what we need here um, in the preview. So um, now that you have it here, everything that you really need is here. So if you now choose to maybe make some other changes, then you might need to start um, looking for, okay, how how do you add, say, some styling, some props, and all of that. So you have to come um, to... You have to come to um, your um, your documentation here and go check projects. So what can you do here in projects? What, what are things you can set up? So for example, here you can set up um, the storage. You can set up your license. So you just need to maybe copy these and change um, the 
the option so um i could just copy all of this uh, but of course I, I wouldn't be setting any of this up but i'm just showing you how you could set up options um inside of your project here so inside of the options you could just paste this in make sure you end with a comma here and um what else um i'm getting an error here so let's get rid of this and let me see what's going on here so let's come back here and check what the problem was um I'm not very sure what um the problem here is let me inspect and you see we are me we, are, we have a duplicate key oh 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 yeah that's project so let's get rid of it okay now if you add it like this you add your license you check your storage and if you want to use your personal storage you change this to self if you um, like it as cloud you can leave it and here's the identity so you need to make sure that you're not passing in here in the identity you're not passing in any um sensitive stuff like uh, maybe email or any password or stuff like that okay um so you could now add some other stuff like this uh, maybe like um the auto save you could specify the auto save inside of the storage and all of that then um here in the maybe layouts you could also make some changes you know how you love the layout to be for example you could style so it's it's inside of the layout here that you set up maybe the height of um the height of your your editor so we could um, copy this this layout like this and then um, paste it inside of our options here okay so i can paste it just before the project but make sure you add a comma after that so that you don't run into an error now something you need to know is if you are if you are setting up the default you need to specify these children now these children are just the the canvas like the sidebar left the sidebar right and then there's the middle um, component which is the main place and um, you see your your stuff go into okay now let's set up the height 100 percent like this and then let's um set up the type to be row like that and save it come back here and um do a refresh okay now it goes off um we we have sdk misconfiguration uh, so let's come back here and change this height to maybe let's change this height to say um view height uh but i'm not sure this is where the program is coming from i think the problem is coming from the fact that we put in the license here and the identity and they are not really doing anything so let's get rid of them and save it and then go back and do a refresh so we have everything coming back so if you are going to put um a license here you make sure you have the correct license because it's going to check and know that if you are going live then you need to set up that license um i i just need you to to know that so now that we've been able to set up say the height to 100 view height you see that we are not taking up the full uh, page now what happens if you get rid of these children so if you don't specify these children and come back here do a refresh it's going to go blank so it's very important that you specify these children for it not to go blank um as it did the last time so if you are seeing this editor for the first time and you don't know how to use it please go check um the previous part where i showed exactly how to to do it now this is it basically this is how you can add an editor to your React project. So if you if you are building a project for your users and you need them to have access to a HTML builder, this is just how you do it. And once you do it, it is simple um, to, to do. Been able to cover a whole lot today. We've been able to see the difference between GrapeJS, GrapeJS Studio and GrapeJS Studio SDK. We were also able to look at how to use this GrapeJS Studio. Um, then we went ahead to build something with the um, studio and then we, got to see how what documentation looks like and how you can use it then we're able to add this studio into html javascript project and then react project so far now um the 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 grapes js um documentation proper um that we looked at the first time um is is cool but in my opinion i think now that we have the studio and um most of the things that grapejs will give you is already in the studio you might really not need this i probably will do another tutorial on grapejs on its own um, but i'm really excited about the studio and um, that you can embed into your project and then use on the fly so thank you very much for for watching this um i would um, make more tutorials like that for next years uh, we also do for typescript and all of that um like share subscribe um uh, make sure you comment i'll see you in my next tutorial